hate you guys. You guys are assholes. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, on our live feed last night, it, it delved me back into the thought of stuff I've talked about in the past having to do with MGTOW, men going their own way. Um, we've talked about it in the past. Yep. I think your perception of what it is differs from mine in some ways that as a woman, MGTOW comes off like... Man hater club. Or yeah. Woman the, hater club. Yeah. The, like the, little the he man yeah the he man woman haters club <laughs> that actually that's a funny thing but <laughs> actually it it delves in a lot deeper than that that i we're going to go through an article here from the guardian it's a couple of years old from 2020 but still and it's written by a woman laura bates the guardian is a newspaper in uh london or england and uh go ahead and bring it up i guess and I was kind of thumbing through it real quick, but I wanted to save what we're going to talk about as we go down. So men going their own way, the rise of a toxic male separatist movement. Is it toxic? I don't think so. No. It's just men waking up to the modern yeah. pitfalls of the world and how disadvantaged you are in so many ways in the world nowadays if you want to go into the a traditional life, you know, to find a good woman, get married, have kids, build a home, and have a future. Right. Well, stats don't support that. Let me see, you can see the clip. Yeah. Okay. That's why I turned it. Well, it was the other one. It was cutting my head off. I'm sorry. I was trying to fix it. Maybe deserved. <laughs> Big town. No, anyway. Um, <laughs> I guess everyone's just going to have to deal with it this time. <laughs> yeah, low, low production quality, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> um, so men going their own way, though, is a big thing, especially geared towards younger men. But he, like even me, I wish I had known a lot of this stuff early on, knowing divorce rates, you know, is at least first marriage is at least 50 percent divorce rate. Right? It's even more like a 60 or 70 percent rate. Second marriages is like an 80 percent divorce rate third marriages is like 90 plus percent divorce rate because now you're settled into your ways by that point and you know it's like you're not taking any more of this crap type thing men or women right yeah and and they just break up more easily every time you know that the level of commitment goes away it dissipates every time so for men to get into marriage and think about having kids nowadays and all that stuff well a great thing you would love to think it's great a lot of times the stats don't line up, you know, like Bill Burr made a great joke about it. If you were going to go skydiving, <laughs> like just compare it to marriage. Yeah. If you're going to go skydiving, he's, he's like, why would anybody get married anymore? If you're going to go skydiving and you found out that 70% of all the parachutes don't open. Yeah. Would you, why would you go skydiving? <laughs> yeah. You know, if 70% of all marriages end in divorce, you're going to lose all your shit, become homeless be hooked up on alimony and child support for the rest of your life or something like that and ultimately ultimately make your life miserable 70 percent chance just getting married once why yeah why would i do that why would i subject myself to that? it's actually you know looking back over the span of my life when i you know this is our third marriage yeah we we've, we've kind of beat the odds in that regard We've been together seven years, and we're only getting better. Yeah, yeah. So we obviously, we, time. you know, we're the, we're the unicorn. You know, this thing that my first marriage was horrible. And mine was horrible. Too. Yours was horrible too. Second <laughs> yeah. ones, the second marriages that we both had were, I would say, well, mine was kind of vicious. Yours wasn't quite as bad. It was more like you guys were just distant and all this kind of yeah. stuff and whatever. More like roommates than Yeah, yeah. And then <laughs> my second my second marriage, yeah, it was it was pretty brutal too. And but it's more a thing of after going through these kind of relationships, you see the red flags that happen with these people and you just won't do that again. Yeah. That's really what it is. And I say that all the time too. I won't live like that again. Yeah. As soon as I see those things happening. Yeah, he says it all the time. What <laughs> 
<laughs> it's not that you do it. No, I I'm know. just saying if I ever saw those things happening again. Oh, I know. It's just, yeah. Like there's no trust. There's no this. There's no that. Certain behaviors, red flags go up about crazy stuff going on and everything. That It's like, no, I ain't doing it again. So let's touch on MGTOW, though. Men going their own way. This is written by a woman, so I wouldn't expect it to be objective really it's coming from the point of view of a woman and women don't want to hear this stuff because women can't handle that they may not be desirable to men anymore you know it's like we don't want them to nothing to do with you yeah and it's not because we hate you it's just because the mixture of you and society and dealing with government and all this other stuff not worth it we just avoid you outright you know what i mean yeah it's like my life i can just go out and build money become rich on my own travel do whatever i want and nobody's going to take it from me because i have no kids and i have no legal binding agreement with this person so it's like don't have to worry about it um but yeah this is seen as a toxic movement which you can say the same thing about feminism although among women, feminism is considered mostly positive. Well, MGTOW among men is considered mostly positive too. I guess it just depends well, on what side of the fence you're yeah, on it, I don't, and how that, extreme you are for your cause. Yeah, because as a as a man, I don't like being put down by women. No, I don't like. Being Do I think put all down women hate me. me and everything? No, but there is this general general sentiment, and especially that women are backed up in society by the courts and have a lot of legal leeway as opposed to men. So, as well, a man, the problem is, is that those leeways and everything that were created were created for a reason. But women have yeah, but has it gone too far the other way? Well, it's not that it's gone too far the other way. It's the fact that, like you know, all the legal stuff is that women have found a way to make a loophole to where they just you know get well, it all, whether they deserve it or not yeah that there's a victim status that can be yeah. claimed too and once you have victim status you can get whatever you want i cannot be a victim i'm a white straight male in america i cannot be a victim you know it's like yeah you get laughed at it's like you got problems yeah i do no you don't you're so privileged it's like okay yeah. Yeah. let me go back to work 80 hours a week and yeah. be broke thanks you know like okay um so go ahead and scroll down though we'll get into this a little bit the men of MGTOW movement aim to live their lives with no female contact not true to necessarily the idea began on the fringes of the internet sorry it's getting cast into this negative yeah. dark you know yeah MGTOW is not about the, no female the, contact the dark web type thing or something yeah. you know it made it all the way to the white house she's talking about i don't know trump I don't know. There has been an awakening changing the world one man at a time. These are the dramatic words that appear when you visit MGTOW.com. Never looked at it. I just knew what MGTOW was by information I picked up along the way. In a video that looks a lot like an action movie trailer, the words are soon followed by five more that appear to smash through the screen, smoldering fiery red men going their own way. If you stumble across it, or men going their own way before, you would probably assume it was a tiny extreme movement, but you would be the only half right. The views of MGTOW are indeed unorthodox, even within the sprawling web of groups, lifestyles, and cults known as the manosphere. The manosphere, okay. Like I said, it's, they got all these terms for it and everything. Where women, women haters, see, that's where I disagree. Yeah. It's like, it's not about hating women. It's just about avoiding problems. It's women, about avoiding the wrong women. Which is probably about 80% of women out there. <laughs> and if you've seen anything online too, and you see all these women out there, you know, raw run about, you know, we don't need men, all men, like there's been extreme stuff too on feminism. What was all that video we die. watched about fucking baby daddies and she's doing her video in front of a Planned Parenthood and she's got a... a... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was hilarious. Uh <laughs> yeah, it was a black rapper chick. Yeah. No. No baby daddy or some shit like that. But yeah, that she's like, I go to Planned Parenthood and kill these kids because that way she don't have to deal with the baby daddy yeah, or something like that. Yeah, she got no baby daddy and she's all, in, you know, doing out there twerking, and, twerking and everything. And, and it was like all this weird stuff. It was the most horrific looking song. Paul's like, what? It's like, the heck? this is why so many women complain about, I can't find a good man. 
It's like, because you're acting like that. You yeah. know what I mean? It's like, why would I want to be around? That. Yeah, well, who wants to marry that? Oof. <laughs> um, okay, so what was I was going to touch on here? The Manosphere, where women haters, wrong. I, I understand there's extreme dudes out there that got... But yeah. uh, they get it so hard in their head. Oh, no, no, women, no, women. no women ever. No women ever type thing. Well, not being around women, it does have a term. It's called monk mode. Oh. Monks, they don't have sex. They don't right. interact with women. It, they, it goes against their beliefs. And they take a vow. And it's called monk mode, though, where guys, yeah, they, and it's usually guys that are divorced and they've been put through the ringer that they go monk mode because they're older now. And it's like, I ain't out there trying to throw meat darts and everything anymore. I'm older. I just want to work, make my money, and keep it. You know what I mean? I don't want to keep losing my stuff. So I, I'm not getting married again. I'm not dealing with women anymore. And rightly so. Yeah. It's like, cool. I mean, so Manosphere, where women haters, of course, yeah, these supposed gynocratic conspiracy wire. Well, incels plot violent revenge on women. Incels is invol involuntary celibates. That's just a group of dudes that are in the what I call the legions of unfuckables. Women don't want them. Yeah. They never have sex with women. They're involuntarily celibate because no women want to be with them. Right. Yeah, which is a that... lot of young dudes nowadays. They don't bring much to the table. And women have high standards for the dudes they want. And these guys get left by the curb. You know, it's like, but to say that they're all that they're like, plotting, revenge. plotting and they're pissed and angry and we're going to go. Yeah, and get a gun and shoot something up or whatever. It's like, no. And then pickup artists, PUAs, are the the cool guys, the, the Chad Thundercocks, you know, that they, yeah. um, they're they just out there trying to bag chicks, you know, pump them and dump them kind of thing and all this kind of stuff. Okay, I'm sure there's dudes out there like that too. Okay. That guy's hanging out at the club. This guy's, you know, they're on Tinder or whatever, yeah. picking up chicks all the time and stuff. But it's MGTOW as a cult of lonely virgins. Like some MGTOW maintain platonic relationships, yeah? Yeah. Like I'm married, but I do heavily agree with a lot of this ideology. And But it isn't an obscure internet cul-de-sac. MGTOW.com alone has 33,000 members. Um, <clears throat> more than, so 25 video channels between them, more than 730,000 followers and more than 130 million views on all their videos. Uh, MGTOW vloggers, oh, Sandman. Yeah, I've watched Sandman. He's a Canadian dude. Um, MGTOW philosophy is elaborately laid out on the MGTOW.com website, which summarizes as a statement of self-ownership where the modern man preserves and protects his own sovereignty above all else. That's making the choice to go the other way, not to interact in society anymore and do the normal toe the line, be the wage slave, and pay for everybody's crap. About no, I think I'll keep my cash. Thanks. You know that's really all it comes down to. You're just avoiding all the headaches. Women are essentially portrayed as parasites. Not true. Yeah. We just avoid women. I don't want to get me too finger pointed at me, sexual harassment. You know whatever. By avoiding it, but then if you don't partake in the system as they want you to, you become demonized. <coughs> <clears throat> by shaking women off it is explained men will be free to pursue pursue even higher achievements true ever higher achievements ever higher achievements you can go out and save your own money and do your own thing and travel and do whatever you want because you're not bringing it home to a woman that potentially is just gonna you know suck the marrow out of every effort you put out and take everything you have and you got nothing to show for it at the end of the day and then she leaves you anyways so I love this. I feel I found a secret to the universe. A MGTOW.com commenter. Yeah. I mean, when your eyes get open for the first time. It's also called taking the red pill when you see through the bullshit. Yeah, they're talking about that later. Yeah. We'll get to that. Elsewhere, philosophy and opinion are mixed with a heavy dose of often deeply misogynistic advice, such as from FAQ section of a different MGTOW website. My girlfriend is pregnant. What do I do? Whatever you do, do not invite her into the hot tub with champagne to celebrate. <laughs> Maybe he's. That maybe. was a joke. Yeah. Continue. Oh, you don't even like this, are you? 
no. Look at your face, girl. This can cause a miscarriage and should it could lose the baby. Repeat, you should not under any circumstance. Ha ha ha. Funny, 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 cracking a joke. This guy humor. What are you gonna do? It is impossible to know how seriously a comment like this is meant, but meant the original writer intended simply to shock and entertain. It is also impossible to know how it might be interpreted. Well, of course, people are gonna get their panties in a bunch and be like, he's evil. MGTOW pronounced MGTOW, yeah, by adherence is are unlikely to meet in person instead sharing their techniques, successes, and failures online. Well, it would be impossible to meet because they're all over the world. Yeah. Throughout the Manosphere, it is common to see members expressing paranoia about normies who could be out to expose them, often leading to forum users accusing each other of being moles or spies. Hey, you get freedom of speech, dude. Just say whatever you yeah. want. Of course, in other countries, maybe. Right. Nowhere is this fear more prevalent than among MGTOW with... See, they... Oh, they're paranoid, and it's like, yeah. am I a paranoid person? No. Do I believe in these kinds of ideas, though, to for men to protect themselves? Well, yeah, everything. I mean, people in general should I, protect themselves. I tell the boys this constantly because they're both in their 20s. They're young. They don't have girlfriends. They don't have social lives, really. They work, and there's not much going on for them, but I tell them all the time, most of the women, like Destiny's 26, most of the women he's going to meet are probably going to be single moms. And they're going to come from damaged homes and all this kind of stuff. And it's like, they're not worth dealing with. Protect yourself. Yeah. Or they've already got multiple children. Yeah, they've already got kids dads. and everything. It's like, you don't need to deal with that mess. Save your yeah. money. Because he's got time. Yeah. You don't need to run right out as a dude and start a family right away. You can wait till you're in your 40s and then find a chick that's younger that's still able to have kids so it's like okay and i think that's what gets overlooked a lot is it's like some hater thing once you have taken the red pill open your eyes to reality that as a man the whole world is stacked against you there are four main levels of MGTOW according to many websites level one involves rejecting long-term relationships while level two extends to the short-term relationships level three requires economic disengagement reducing taxation as far as possible in order to avoid paying towards the support of other groups from elite alphas and single mothers. Yeah, the elite alphas, as it would be called, I guess like I said, the Chad Thundercocks, the pickup artists are out right. there in the club and just pumping, dumping chicks. These chicks have kids, get on welfare, and ultimately become a tax burden on you. Because really, if you think about it, if you pay taxes, you're already a stepdad to millions of kids because <laughs> you're paying for welfare. Right. So... <clears throat> um, as one MGTOW manifesto puts it as well as fighting to instill masculinity in men good, should MGTOW must work toward limited government yes, limited government always works better too much government like what Ronald Reagan said it but that's the, not the, necessarily the a MGTOW thing. That's no, no, no. <laughs> that's a libertarian I mean, that's, belief and everything, but less government yeah, is um, better. They're trying to say that it's a MGTOW thing now. So that's just a common sense thing. Well, it's trying to say that men like this would align with a certain political view. You know what I mean? Yeah. That, oh, because they're all Trump supporters or something like that. You know, something stupid. Well, yeah, I want it. I want the government out of my hair. I don't, yeah. you know, I want to say what I want. I want to do what I want. I want to be left alone. Level four is described as social rejection. Like that's like the monk mode I'm talking about. The MGTOW drops out of society altogether. Yeah. For all intents and purposes, he does not exist. Yeah, it's called being a gray man. That you go to work, you go home, you live your life, but nobody ever seems to notice you. Right. You can walk down the street and Yeah, nobody even know you just walk by like what was that? I don't know. Yeah. Ghost. An urbanite might keep to his own apartment while someone further out may simply head into the wilderness and go off grid. Yeah. <laughs> I can do either one just fine. Those who achieve this ultimate isolation are known as ghosts and treated as legends within the community. Uh, not really. I mean, so it's just a guy that right. made the ultimate choice to go... Yeah. ultimately do his own thing but most MGTOW seem happy hovering somewhere around level two discussions tend to center on classic manosphere complaints such as the evils of women no 
the problems with women and our current society. Women, if they want to see a change in this, women need to go and vote and change some of this crap to get men to re-engage with them. So discussions tend to center on the classic manifesto complaints such as evils of women and misandry, hatred of men. Most of all, they focus on the dangers of interacting with women. Yeah, if you got a job and you have to interact with women, yeah, you're running the risk every time because she just might get mad. Yeah, she might be. And you, all of a sudden you're getting hauled in and getting fired because what would you say to her, Amal? Yeah. I said, hello? Mmm, you can't do that. <laughs> what do you mean? Mmm, well, saying hello means you want to, you know, pump her in the dumper. Mm -hmm. Like, what dictionary was that in? Yeah. She weighs 450 pounds. It doesn't matter if she weighs 450 pounds. She or... smells like vomit. <laughs> I don't want to touch that. Doesn't, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. We think it's a woman, so. On the... You're on the next one, man. I got TV to watch. Hold on. It's 20 minutes already. Yeah, I told you this might linger. Yeah. There's a lot of risk. An 18 year old Cardiff University student dedicated member of MGTOW community noted in 2015, we do not know how many false accusations are. Yep, that's another true thing too. How many false accusations get put out that ultimately get reeled back in going, oh, I was just bullshitting. They could be the majority or they could be the minority. The implication was that there are so many women ready to lie about rape. Grape, sorry, you're not supposed to say the actual word. That any contact with them is simply too dangerous to risk. Sometimes very true. You got to think about this stuff. You got to protect yourself. In reality, a man in the UK is 230 times more likely to be raped himself than falsely accused of it. Hmm. Weird. And this makes to resemble men's rights activists more than incels or pickup artists. Both groups believe that women pose an immediate threat to all men. Not all women, but I would say. A good chunk of them out there. Yeah, Enough it's better. Them, yeah. It's a best to just avoid them, pretty much. Often force men to raise other men's children, thus financially cuckolding them. Yeah, stay away from these single moms, man. Don't. You, know, you meet a single mom with a couple of kids that are young, you're going to be on the hook for that, and she's going to be looking at you for that paycheck, not her ex, not baby daddy. Yeah, because I believe there's places like in Oregon, if you date you, somebody for an X amount of time that has children, if you move in, then you're liable for child support for those children. If you financially supported that household and you were just dating in any way, then you are now on the hook for yeah, the child support. Yeah, you put on the hook like, for kids that aren't even yours. And you're like, what about the real dad? <laughs> what about the real dad? And then what about the chance <laughs> of being that dude that gets cuckolded, that gets cucked? What if I meet somebody great and I want to go out and have a family? Yeah. Well, I can't because I'm paying for somebody else's kids. Like yeah. I said, if you just all you're already paying for child support for millions of kids already by paying your taxes. Yeah. Like legit, you're paying for the welfare system which pays women to have more and more kids and and claim no responsibility to it. So you're paying for it anyway. So mm -hmm. <clears throat> Uh, false accusations of sexual or domestic violence in order to damage men socially, steal their money, or even have them jailed. Yeah. Vengeance. Vindic vindictive women is a big problem, too. They can make a false claim that you beat them or something. Like that. I've even seen the videos where a chick's punching herself in the face yeah. and then claims, but because they found security footage in an elevator of her and they're punching herself in the face. Right, yeah. It was thrown but, out. Yeah, it was thrown out. But this dude had, it was in England, I think, and yeah, she, the dude ended up losing everything he even went to jail and everything until it finally yeah. and even after they found the proof they still didn't want to let him out of jail it was like holy crap dude so Chirac could not however claim to be a pioneer is generally accepted with MGTOW community that the movement was started in the mid 2000s by two men going to pseudonym Solaris an Australian Ragnar a Scandinavian who describes himself as an old guy and a former pilot mm -hmm. Describes online men's movement, a sense of alienation where this whole thing starts Solaris claim in 2012 YouTube interview. You realize simply because you are a man that you are considered a legitimate target for being the butt of jokes or being considered a class enemy. Uh, yeah, I mean, I can, I can see his point. 
So I'm trying to catch some bullet points in here. Hello, Breton. Fucking women, they're all snakes with tits. The ideal, I, I don't see it as hatred. I just see it as protecting yourself is all it is. Oh, here's something. It is easy to write off MGTOW as a weird group of goofy celibates, yet it has in some ways quietly penetrated mainstream culture more successfully than any other segment of the Manosphere. Yeah, because it's correct. It's truthful. So... You can see in this article, though, they're trying to demonize a little bit. You know, women, I don't think, are really going to understand the point of MGTOW because they're not men. Just like I'm not a woman and I can't understand everything you go through, so you're going to have your own points. Right. I understand. I understand it. Like, you and me aside, yeah, you can understand how even the boys or in my former relationships you can understand where i swear off doing that again yeah it's like blah, 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 nope yeah. ain't doing it ain't yeah. touching that i mean we both know that you know things that we dealt with you know in the past and all that that we're never gonna be do that we again. don't do that to we, each other well we don't do that to each other either so. and i would just like i tell the boys here though they're in their 20s if you're a younger dude out there right now I always tell them, you, what? I said you're cut off. You need to scoot over. Oh, am I blowing the mic out? No, you're just not oh, in the I tell, I, just like I tell the boys here, they're in their 20s. I would say, don't get married. If you can date and have a relationship, cool. Don't have kids right now. Go work. Build yourselves up. Yeah, find the right person. Find the first. right people to hang out with. And They, they do exist. They, they are do out exist. there. There, there's less and less of them all the time, but there yeah. are quality people out there to share your life yeah. with. But I would say as far as MGTOW, just like feminism, the Me Too movement, all this kind of stuff or whatever that's going against men. Well, nobody says you have to go and fist fight in the street about it. Right. All you got to do is just pull back. Just like I'm reeling my line in, dude. You guys can, right. you go march in the street and do all the crap you want or what. Um, I'm out. Yeah, I'm over here. I'm over here. <laughs> I'm just going to work, I'm saving my money. Now. I pay my taxes. I just be quiet. No, no big fuss over here. Yeah. No Mr. Fussy Britches over here. <laughs> but save your money. Yeah. Invest. Go buy properties. Go do anything. Because if you did that in your 20s right now, you just, like I tell the boys, you guys are in a position in your life right now. You have no debt, no kids, no women. Everything is about building yourself. You could go out. You know, they, they work their jobs, but I tell them, you know, if you work 40 hours a week, there's no reason you're not working 60 hours a week. Your 40 hours pays your bills. The 20 hours extra goes in the bank and just let it build up. And if you're putting a couple hundred bucks a week in the bank, yeah, that's ten thousand. That's ten thousand dollars a year. You do that for a few years, and you have no debt. Now you got a down payment for a house. Yeah. And you can go out and get a house. You're paying. Or get a cheap house. Don't, you know, live in places where it's cheap. You don't have yeah. to go live in New York City or anything. Like, we we live in Lubbock, Texas, and it's fairly cheap. You can go out in these outlying communities and buy houses for 50000 bucks. Mm -hmm. It's like, good, do it. You don't need much. Save your money, build yourselves up, and avoid these pitfalls. And maybe if enough people are acting like this, too, you might see some things change in the future that work for you better. But... What's the one saying I always like to is men chase money or you yeah. never lose. Yeah. If you chase money, women, women will chase, chase you. you. Yeah. <laughs> if you chase money, women will chase you. Cause, and that, that's the whole thing of uh, hypergamy and stuff like that. Women want your resources and they want to be taken care of and all that kind of crap. So Make it work for you, you know. So, yeah, make tell. Just uh, it's not a woman haters club. <laughs> as your, as mean, your eyes roll a little bit over there on the side, <laughs> mm. I mean, it may be to some, <clears throat> but you know, they, you know, it's not though. It's just basically, you know, protect yourself. I mean, you could put it on both sides. You could make it for men or you could make it for women. You know, there's shitty men, there's shitty women. And, yeah. You know, it's like, it's 
it just happens to be a you know about men but you could just replace the word men with women and vice versa and just protect yourself and find the right people surround yourself with the right type of people don't get into relationships with just anybody for any reason don't stay in a bad relationship you know don't you know don't make the uh you know cross the uh, cross the t's yeah. and dot the i's with just anybody you know <laughs> so i would urge guys though yeah if you're young and you're avo already in a position to avoid these pitfalls yeah keep avoiding it yeah go out and build yourself up work just put your money away stay out of debt yeah buy you property invest you know get into get yourself a roth ira you know, well, get a Roth IRA. Just live your life and start with that. And you do you. You know things happen and fall into place along the timeline. There's no reason to get all in a hurry or settle or whatever because you think you're missing out on something. Yeah, it's funny though. I was talking. Oh, we'll keep this one like 10, 15 minutes. Uh -huh. Another half hour. Thirty Great. minutes later. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry, <laughs> sorry. All right, so we'll cut it off on that, guys. Yep. And and chicks. Yeah. Stay single. Yeah. Cover yourself. Stop pumping out illegitimate kids and yeah. stop going after people for crap. Just mind your own business and build your own money and go that route. So, but MGTOW, is it as evil as you think? No. <laughs> it is not. But go look it up. There's plenty of guys out there making this kind of content that are just looking out for you and want yeah. you to be a better version of yourself. That's it. So go check it out. Yep. That's our take on it. Yep. It's our two cents. Yeah. <laughs> Out. Like, share, subscribe, please. Yes, please. Get us up to a hundred thousand subs. Come on. Yeah. People are gonna be like, no, you guys suck. Yeah, you guys suck. <laughs> we should make the uh, the first one thirty thousand, and then forty thousand, fifty thousand, no, million, million. Yeah, well, yeah. maybe high. I want my plaque from YouTube. I want a plaque. Yeah, we want that hundred thousand yeah, plaque. I want a plaque. <laughs> so everybody, subscribe. Yeah, Go. subscribe. <laughs> All right, next time. Yeah. Out. Out.